everybody. Well, you should have to watch Divergent. Now it's time for a fanfic review, which I haven't done in ages. And this is the base subject of the Sonic fanfic genre. And the fanfic we're going to be reading, well, I'll be reviewing and you'll soon be reading, is by Papa Pa, the sequel of Saw and Amy, I remember, known as Saw and Amy, not the same. Quick recap. Sonic the Hedgehog, well, he didn't really get a good life after he defeated Eggman. When he defeated Eggman, things went downhill for him. A new era elf was born. Sally and the Frame Fires turned against him, except Amy Rose. But he didn't care about her. He went off to become this new character. Along with Robo the Hedge, him known as the new form to be the ghost and hunter, they challenged themselves on a great everlasting adventure to free the Acorn Kingdom, no matter what. But the ghost falls in love with the Amy Rose herself. With this big identity, Sonic the Hedgehog called himself Jules to hide who he really was to Amy. One day, Sally Acorn found out and captured her. And the ghost has to save her. But if I have to be straight, he saves her. And if I had to be more straight, he lost his legs. <laughs> Sonic lost his legs. No. That's right. Back at fanfic number one. Sonic, I remember, Sonic the Hedgehog lost his legs ever since he saved Amy Rose and the rest of the kingdom against King Elias and Sally Acorn. But back to the story now. Sonic, Amy, not the same. Sonic is now a grown man. It's been 20 years since it happened. He is now a crippled hedgehog with a wheelchair. He's married Amy Rose and has a daughter who's called Claire. He may be happy, but he isn't truly. For a fortune teller perceives that something dramatic is going to form in him and he will no, no longer, I mean it, no longer be the same. Even though he promised he wouldn't change, that promise was broken. It's now time for the fanfic review. What I liked about the story was the characters, the love triangle, the whole evil Sonic, Amy Rose in particular. I like the whole emotions. I liked how it seemed that Sonic was happy, but really he wasn't. Uh, I loved the plot twist. It really was like a bowl. It's like a mixture of kick and oh! Suddenly, her sprinkles! Yeah, I have to add sprinkles. Everyone loves sprinkles. You have to love sprinkles. And who would have thought Teal's prior would be the king? King of the acorns. You know, he's a prior? Or acorn? Prior? Acorn? Prior? Uh, acorn prior? Ooh! I just find that so amazing. I like the emotions, the style. I love the evil villains besides the witchcraft person, to be honest, I didn't like her, to be honest. That's when the problems of the dislikes come in. I only dislikes Papa Pa. <sighs> Excuse me. Uh, probably just the evil character of the witch. I don't want to say her name. I can't even be bothered to search up the name. Uh, I just feel like she just didn't need to be there. I just, I just wasn't interested in her. Her disappearing into No, I'm defeated! I just feel like there's no need for her to be there. If you understand, you know, I just feel like she just wasn't need to be there. You know, I'm sorry, but I just feel like she just wasn't interesting. And I'm probably sure I'm probably guilty charged. I am probably can make a character that isn't very interested and doesn't need to be there. I just feel like she just didn't need to be there. That's just my dislike. My other disfolding was probably the metal legs. Well, well, actually, I love the metal legs, but I just didn't like the way Metal Sonic had to be uh, not brought back into Sonic's mind. Because the only time we actually get to see Metal Sonic standing was probably on the building where Sonic's just like, The village? What are you doing on there? And then 
you know, you know, you understand what I'm talking about. I just feel like, why can they not appear again? Like, maybe Sonic the Ghost uh, versus Metal Sonic, they fight against each other, even though it's not real. And I could just image Tails and Amy go, ah! You know, maybe that could be happening. But also just like, Claire, not Claire, like, not, I don't mean they don't like her, I just, I just wish she had more of a big victorious daughter scene. Because, um, whenever she stood up against, you know, evil ghost, she wasn't very, she was heroic, but she wasn't too heroic. She wasn't like, whoa, go Claire. To me, I was like, yes, go Claire. But then I just went, no. but please, Papa Pat, don't get upset. Because I still love this fanfic. Can we still hug? No? Oops. I think it's best if I rate this. I'm going to rate this four and a half stars. Uh, just basically because of that little drop down with the characters, it just made me drop to four and a half because everyone agrees the sequel is very hard to beat with the first one because the first one, it's like Narnia. It's hard to beat Narnia's first half or Harry Potter. I don't know what it's like for Harry Potter. I've never seen it, but yeah. I will have a tough time. <coughs> oh my god. I'm gonna have a tough time writing to last day as a sequel. So I'm gonna be in your shoes. I'm like, oh shoot. But I'm gonna read it four and a half stars. I really like to Papa Pat. You deserve it. Okay? Just little minor character problems. That's no big deal. No one's perfect. I'm not perfect. You're not perfect. Uh, Sonic is imperfect. <laughs> Slightly. Well, guys, that's all I got time for today. Please subscribe to my channel, check me out on Tumblr, Instagram, and fanfiction. Great job on the fanfic, by the way, Papa Pat. You really tried, and it was a really great job for a sequel. It was just a little by yourself I didn't like, but I loved the story all the same. See you later. Bye. I believe I can walk. I can walk on two feet. Boop. <laughs>